Okay, so, you know, where did I learn about leadership? I learned about leadership because I was raised by a football coach preparing me to coach, and I took that into business. But what did I learn from the locker room, the sideline, and the film room at halftimes and speeches? What did I learn? Well, I, I learned what we've heard and heard other leadership gurus quote and be quoted as the issue that culture eats tactics for breakfast. Culture always trumps tactics. Well, co in the coaching profession, it's real easy to understand that attitudes and the, the state of mind, the preparation of the athlete mentally is more important than the X's and O's. In fact, Vince Lombardi was quoted as saying, that the most difficult thing I do is get them ready to play every week. It wasn't the X's and O's, and he was a fanatic about the details. And for those of you that are watching or listening that are a little younger, Vince Lombardi's the guy they named the Super Bowl trophy after. So if you didn't know who he was, that's enough validation. He understood and he was a championship coach. But all through the ages, the great coaches have understood that if I can instill the right attitudes, if I can instill the right culture, if I can actually get people mentally tough enough to be their best when their best is needed, and that was one of Coach John Wooden's great quotes was the, to be competitive was to be at your best when your best is needed. Well, all of this applies for business and for any organization. Leaders have to prepare people to perform to their peak. They have to prepare people to be their best. And that's an ongoing daily challenge because our human nature to seek comfort, make excuses, procrastinate, be selfish, that human nature gets in the way of that. And it's not like you train someone up and that goes away. That doesn't happen. Each of us every day has to challenge ourselves to be our best. And there's days we don't feel like it. Well, peak performers are at their best when their best is needed, whether they feel like it or not. But they do that because they're able to adjust their state of mind. Their emotions are their servants, not their masters. So they're able to, to ratchet up and prepare themselves to perform even when physically they may be tired. In fact, fatigue is the cha greatest challenge to all of us. Can we overcome our own personal fatigue, our own human nature? Are we prepared to perform when our best is needed and not just when it's easy? That's what separates peak performers from average and mediocre performers. So if you wanna be at your best, you'll have to prepare to perform. You'll have to, again, have the right expectations that life's full of obstacles. And the, the, the best results, the greatest rewards, the biggest prizes go to those that are prepared to overcome.